It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with the Grand Reveal in Laguna Beach. Four days, three to four crew, um, and more schlepping than you can imagine. But it was so worth it. And our clients are thrilled. I'm thrilled. We had a blast. And it's, uh, it's just a really, really stunning terraced garden with flanking interest. Um, was able to use almost every single plant that I brought and every rock got pressed into service. So we really nailed it there, which is always good. Um, I mean, we probably put in, I want to say seven to 800 plants in this garden. And we brought a ton, about a ton of boulder, lava boulder, and a half a basket of rubble. We brought a bunch of bags of chamois beige and burgundy three quarter. Um, and that, you know, as always, I could have used more. Our client absolutely adores the, the green gazing ball. That's one of her favorite elements in the garden. And I had two of those at my house and it was sort of a last minute decision as I was packing the car to come up here. I thought, Ooh, you know, I'm going to bring one of the, one of those balls and see if Susan likes it. And it, it, it just really, again, I'm getting a lot better at that third R, that restraint. Just that one little art piece is absolutely golden in this garden. I don't need a bunch of stuff. Just that really, really makes it. And then the Sansevieria, and then the, the heavily tapestries areas that Greg is showing you now, um, those were deeper. So we were able to do you know, more in-depth planting and I was explaining to my client that even the thinner terraced um, areas will have that vibe in time. You know, these plants just need a minute to get their legs and settle in. I'm so excited to share this garden with you over the years. It's gonna be just absolutely incredible uh, as time passes. And uh, we've got Portolacaria, we've got Athona capensis, we've got Cotyledon pendans. She had some other senecios and tiny little, um, I'm not sure what, little ice plants. And, you know, the spilling is going to be pretty epic. We have a lot of new introduction mangave, cherry chocolate chip, lavender lady. Um, we've got moon glow and we've got uh, purple people eater. Um, five or six different mangave types. One of the showstoppers also is the client's Blue Glow. It's up on one, two, third, fourth tier. It was on the third tier, just crammed. Um, and I moved it up there and it's stealing the show right now. That plant is stunning up there. I'm so pleased with that. Also, the cactus garden. I got it. I got my ribbon of burgundy going through. I'll get out of the way. Super happy with this. You know, the cactus were kind of a challenge. I just wasn't really sure how this was going to go. I mean, I was changing my mind until yesterday. Keep the lemon tree that was in here. Take it out. Keep the soft succulents. Take them out. Oh, I don't think I have enough cactus. Well, maybe we could add some of the mangave. Honestly, I had no idea what was going to happen here until literally until it happened. One of the coolest things are those three little cactus up at the very top. Isn't that just the cutest? Now in phase two, when we come back and do the little front yard and take out this grass, we are going to remove this little white picket fence and this hedge. Um, and open this up. There's a, there's a wall um, behind the hedge that's, that's perfectly sufficient. It's going to look amazing and give us a whole nother terrace with which to plant. So that's going to be really, really exciting too. Um, so yeah, uh, another one in the books. Super happy with this. Very, very proud of it.
you want to show them the, the view. You know, we can hear the yachts. We can hear the people laughing and having a good time. We can hear their music all the way up here. It's so interesting. Our clients told us that sometimes there are as many as 70 boats out there in that little harbor. Yeah, this is so idyllic. What an amazing place to be. All right, so um, next, uh, next up, we will be, um, we're gonna go home, take a couple days off, and next up, we'll be in Poway doing a small installation for a brand new client. This is just gonna be a tiny little phase one of what will be a multi-phase project. And then the week after next, we will be in Culver City uh, in Los Angeles on another front yard and parking strip installation. Then after that, Greg and I are gonna take some r, r up at our property in Northern California. We're gonna go up to the ranch and spend about a month up there um, through the summer, assuming it's not on fire. If it's burning, we'll probably cut our trip short and come back home because the air quality is so poor. But as long as the forest fires aren't as dramatic as they sometimes can be, uh, we'll stay up there for a while. All right, so thank you all again so much for being with me. Um, you might want to show them the cactus garden from the top up here, Greg. Go slow, slow, you don't get people dizzy. We really miss Hannah on this job for so many reasons. Oh my gosh, she is on a cruise, she comes back today, so you'll be seeing her again next week. Okay, uh, oh, and then that big pile of flagstone down there. Um, remember we have workers that are installing uh, big flagstone steps all the way down to the street below. So that's what that's all about. And uh, yeah, so thanks again, everybody. And this has been Laura Eubanks reporting from Laguna Beach with your grand reveal and your succulent tip of the day. Bye guys.